hi guys what's up welcome back to another video so in today's video I'm gonna be doing my 35 week pregnancy update by the time you're watching this I am 36 weeks basically I know I'm 36 weeks in about two days and I have another video that needs to go up for this one so I'm gonna be 36 weeks by the time you're watching this so I'm gonna be talking about how I'm feeling this week Emotionally, I'm feeling excited. Um, at the same time, nervous, of course, but I'm feeling excited because it's coming to an end. And pregnancy is coming to an end, and it, it's it's making me happy. Um, but I'm also nervous and scared at the same time because of all the of all the pain that I'm gonna go through mentally and physically. Um, my first time I was traumatized with all the pain I dealt with when they checked for dilation that was so painful everyone's different I know some mamas to be say that it's discomfort they're not comfortable at all but they don't feel pain and then some women say they feel pain when they're getting checked for dilation for me I experienced pain like at a level 10 I remember screaming at the top of my lungs every time they checked me for dilation. I was screaming like every time the, like every time my midwife would come in or the doctor would come in and be like, "Okay, we're going to check you for your dilation." I remember like my back would get all sweaty and like I would just lean back and be like, "Oh my god." I was just it was it was so painful for me. But everyone's different. So I don't want to freak any mamas to be out there. It's everyone's different, you know. It might feel this. It might feel uncomfortable for you. So let's just hope for that. It's better than pain. pain. Um, I hope this time around I feel uncomfortable versus the pain. I don't want to feel that pain ever again. It was the worst pain ever. I would say it was worse than my contractions. The yeah, it was really intense. The dilation, but. I'm really nervous about that pain. I hope I don't feel it this time around. I hope I don't. I really hope I don't. I'm, 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 I, I can't even talk just thinking about that pain. But at the same time, I'm excited. You know, that's the positive side of it because pregnancy is coming to an end. So that's how I'm feeling emotionally, like a roller coaster kind of. Like I'm happy, and then I think about like the pain I'm gonna go through and then I, it, it brings me down and then I start thinking positive because that's the right thing to do and then I get happy you know I get excited I get happy and just looking at like baby clothes makes me happy so I'm trying to stay positive you know and it works it really works I finally have some notes in front of me I remember my last pregnancy update I regretted not having any notes but this time I, I, I have notes so if you see me looking down, I'm just reading the notes I wrote. Also emotionally, I am I am a mom already, so I know what to expect. Um, I know, I just know what to expect more, you know? So I'm not having anxiety at all at that part at all, because I just know what to expect. I know what to do. So that part is great. I'm going to talk about physically, okay? How I've been feeling physically. I am very happy to say that I haven't felt any heartburn. My first pregnancy, I felt zero heartburn. This pregnancy, I've, I've been feeling zero heartburn. The only time I get heartburn is when I have lemon water, which is why I don't drink lemon water anymore. I just drink cucumber water, and cucumber water makes me gassy a bit. I know that's a little TMI there, but it, it really does. Um, I think that's normal though. Um, I've been going to the bathroom every single day. Um, my bowel movements have been great. Um, no, no surprise there. I had hemorrhoids. I still have them, but they're mild. So when I was pregnant my first time, I had really bad hemorrhoids. It was really bad where I would where I was bleeding. That's how bad it was. But this time around, it's it's just mild. I haven't been bleeding. They haven't been painful. I'm really surprised that my bowel movements have been normal, to be honest. So 
that's good I have been drinking a lot of water if you guys watch my videos you guys always know that I'm always drinking water I'm always staying hydrated maybe that is helping maybe um, I have been getting headaches yeah, I've been getting headaches and I, I've been not taking anything for it. I just deal with them. I just deal with it. I'll just go and I'll just take a nap if I need to, but I'm trying not to take Tylenol. I'm trying not to take Advil. I'm just, I'm just dealing with it, you know? So I have been experiencing headaches, so not taking anything for it. I'm just dealing with it. Um, another... TMI, TMI? Is it called TMI? I hope it is. But another TMI symptoms I have been feeling is I have been gassy. And it's not because of the cucumber water. Um, I, okay, you know what? I've heard before where people say, oh, no one farts like a man. That's not true. That is not true at all. Not true at all. Females, especially pregnant women, <laughs> nobody farts like a pregnant woman. And if you are a partner of somebody that's pregnant and you're thinking like, oh, she doesn't ever fart. Oh, trust me, she's doing it behind closed doors. <laughs> okay? No one farts like a pregnant woman, I'm telling you. So I've been so gassy this week. Um, I know, it's TMI, I told you. I told you. I warned you. Very gassy. Um, it's to a point where it's kind of constantly. I know, I know it's so embarrassing, but it's kind of constantly. Like, I have to be careful when I'm in public, basically. That's how much I have to release myself. Um... And when I have like Bradley in the room with me, I, I'm very careful not to, not to you know, um, release myself when he's around because I, it's I, it's too embarrassing. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I'm way too shy to do it in front of him. We've been together for like almost ten years, and I'm I'm too shy to fart in front of him. Like, what? I'm sure he's not gonna mind. He knows. Like he always says, if you need to, go ahead and stuff. You know, you're pregnant. I understand. So I'm like, no way. I'm never doing it in front of you. But. There are some times where it will come out um, by mistake and those you can't control at all. You can't control those at all. But there are some times like 80% of the time you can control it and you know when it's coming. And then I personally will leave the room as fast as I can before it's too late. So I'll leave right away. Like I'll go outside, I'll go in the bathroom, I'll go in the other room to release myself. But yeah, nobody farts like a pregnant woman, I'm telling you. there it, It's just a thing. Um, and I feel like nobody talks about that. Because, you know, it's embarrassing. Why does anyone want to talk about that? But I'm telling you, it's a thing. So if you're a pregnant woman or a pregnant person, whoever's pregnant out there for you, just know it's a thing. And she's... She's probably just not doing it in front of you. Like me, I don't do it in front of Bradley at all. I try not to, at least. So yeah, I've been very gassy this week. Um, extremely gassy. I'm not even gonna hide it. Um, but it's just temporary, you know? It's a lot going in my uterus. There's a lot going in my gut. There's a lot going in my digestive system. There's a lot going on in my stomach, you know? So you are gonna be gassy. It's just, it's a natural thing. It's a natural thing. So don't be afraid to talk about it. I have been feeling a lot of pelvic pressure down there. And I partially think it's because I started to dilate. I, I feel it. Um, I dilated before so I know what to feel when it comes to dilation and I have been I think that I have been dilating a little bit because 
I start getting the pressure in my pelvic and then I'll start getting those lightning crotch pains and then I'll waddle. So that's a, that's a sign of dilation right there. And I am hitting my ninth month literally in two days. So I wouldn't be surprised if I did dilate. Um, for my stretch marks, I am pretty lucky to say that I didn't get that many stretch marks this time around. Um, or itchy stomach or itchy breast. My first time around, I, my breasts were always itchy around this time. My stomach was always itchy around this time. My legs were always itchy. Like, I just wanted to itch everywhere. I just wanted to itch, 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 itch. But this time around, I'm not itchy. Like, my stomach's not itchy. My breasts aren't itchy. My legs aren't itchy. I, I do have a little bit of stretch marks, but I can't say I have a lot of stretch marks. It's just... A normal stretch mark amount that you probably naturally will get but nothing to an extreme where I'm like whoa look at this stretch mark I'll show you guys a bump update again um, after I tell you guys some of my updates I have been feeling very clumsy I drop everything and that's normal because the muscle you have in your hands it's something to do with it's not the same anymore um, when you're pregnant so being clumsy while you're pregnant is normal so don't feel bad if you ever drop something like the other day I was making a sandwich and I dropped the knife with the mayonnaise on it like mayonnaise side down on the floor and I was like oh my god I drop everything now so and I'm just like oh, okay whatever dropped I dropped it or I broke a dish the other day too and I'm like all right broke a dish big deal you know, so I'm okay with the clumsiness because I know it comes with pregnancy. Um, I've also been experiencing a lot of stuffy, um, ear, like earwax in my ears. I've noticed, like my ears are very stuffy these days. Um, and I looked it up and my midwife even said that's a normal thing, um, having a stuffy ear. Um, increases like your earwax and I'm like great so I'm gonna probably take care of that once the baby's here I might have to go to my doctor and they're gonna probably clean out my ear with like the little tube thing and then they're gonna take out all the earwax because my ears are stuffy I'm having trouble to sometimes hear what the other person is saying I'm like what 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 so that has been an issue for my breast I haven't been having any breast milk yet um they're dry i haven't been experiencing anything wet in my nipple or anything um so maybe my milk has not come in yet or it's not ready yet which is completely fine once the baby's here then you know that's when your milk starts coming in so i'm not too stressed out about that i have been kind of feeling big that's for sure um I've been feeling big. Even though I've been exercising every day, I've been drinking water every day, I have been feeling big. Like, my back is, like, just, I just feel wide. Um, I feel wide and, you know, you lose confidence a bit too, especially at your ninth month pregnancy. You do lose confidence a bit, but, you know, you gotta stay positive. <laughs> You got to stay positive and just know like, you know, no, you don't look bad. You look fine. It's all in your head sometimes, but it can be a thing, you know, some people can, it can really put people down sometimes. Um, but the important thing is to just stay positive about it and, you know, like you are growing a human inside of you, so you're definitely, definitely not going to look the same, but that's okay that's okay i personally think i've changed a bit during my pregnancy and am i okay with it yes um so yeah um what else do i have i think that's all i have in my notes to be honest um i haven't done my group b strep test yet um, I'm, I'm holding it off as long as I can to be honest because I'm so terrified of like just letting 
anybody, my midwife, my doctor, anybody like put anything up there or checking me down there. It's just, I'm so traumatized from my first time. So I'm holding it off as long as I can. I know I have to go to my midwife um, soon to get checked. And I'm so terrified from the group B strep test because, oh my gosh. I'm just hoping that all the exercise that I did this pregnancy, all the yoga I did this pregnancy, all the walking I did this pregnancy, that I won't feel pain at all when they're checking me down there for my group B strep test or dilation. I'm just I'm just hoping that everything is fine and they're not it's not gonna be painful. I hope all the exercising I did really paid off. I'm really hoping, like I'm really hoping. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah I think that's that's all I have for this week. All right, so I think it's time to show you guys my belly. My belly. I'm wearing this oversized t-shirt. You can't even tell that I'm pregnant right now because it's oversized. Okay, let's bring this down. Okay, a little higher. Okay. You can't even tell that I'm pregnant right now. So here is my belly. I may have to bring it up a bit. So 35 week pregnancy belly right here. Should be closer maybe? See? No stretch marks as I was like as I mentioned to you guys. It's just normal stretch marks. I haven't been using any lotion or anything on my stomach. Nothing. Like nothing at all. I don't know. I just I don't feel like I need it because I'm not itchy. But if I was itchy, I would definitely put on lotion. There you go. I think you guys got a nice little shot. Excuse me. Yes. Yeah, so that is my belly. Alright, so that is my belly update for today. Um, I'll be doing another pregnancy update next week when I'm 36 weeks pregnant. Whew, it's getting so close. <laughs> okay, well, that is it. Um, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Click my notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And I'll see you guys next time.